Hello crafty friends, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's get crafting. This is a box that I had on hand. Rather than recycling it, I decided to make it into a craft. Just pulling out the parts and I'm going to cover the top part with this cute black and white buffalo check fabric. And what I'm doing is basically trying to figure out how to make it less bulky. And so to simplify this, I'm just going to be cutting out the corners. And you'll see a part in this video that shows where I've cut out the corners and the remaining fabric just looks like a cross. And I used hot glue to glue it down on the outside and then up on the top part of the inside. When you're out into some of these fabric stores or Hobby Lobby, pick up a little bit of fabric. Uh, this is something that I can use for so many things because I love it. It's a farmhouse type pattern. And you know, there's sometimes you just wanna make something and you've got it. It was also easier to cut because of the squares. I didn't have to really measure. I just went with cutting along the squares. It was nice and easy and there's that cross piece with the corners cut out slide it down glue it down and we're good to go and here we've got our box that's finished i needed to go along the bottom with something so i used some jute jute string <clears throat> excuse me and i just glued it in most spots but not all and just go tightly and try and line it up so it doesn't overlap the other. I've got this finished and I wanted to do a couple more things to it. I wanted to make a cute little flower and I'm using some burlap. Cut it into a rectangular shape and then just pull out some of the strands of the uh, fabric. And you can see how I'm taking the end, just pulling them out, they come out pretty easy. And leave a border on each end. And then that'll get glued together onto itself. And that little, the circular part becomes the flower. Just roll it somewhat tight, but not super tight. And then I ended up trimming on, trimming off the back of it so it would sit tight on my box, or close, I should say. And then I'm using some ribbon that resembles burlap. I'm going to trim it and take off the some of the threads to make it frayed. And that finished up how the box looks, you know, where the seams come together because there was some glue sticking through and it finished it off nicely. And here's my little box. I love how it turned out. You can use this on a desk or, you know, put little trinkets in it, depending on your box size. Make a bigger one and you could use it for books or, you know, for papers. I'm just going to put some remotes in it right now until I figure out what I want to use it for. On to DIY number two. This is a quiche plate that I had bought when I was at a thrift store. And I knew when I picked it up that I wanted to use it for a DIY. And I'm using a placement I picked this up from Dollar Tree because I like the texture of it and so I just went around it cut out a circular piece and then I'm just going to hot glue that in and the color is not right so I will I'm going to paint that I'm using the Waverly plaster color to paint it and I do even like how that texture kind of pulls through as the paint dries. 
and it needed to be dirtied up a little bit so here is my Waverly hazelnut I'm putting some of that on there and then I'm going to dot on some of the uh, um, antique wax I was able to pull out my farmhouse calendar and use one of the images and so you'll see I'm going to be having um, pull out a chicken and I'm going to fussy cut the chicken and use that for this DIY. Isn't that just cute? That little chicken is so adorable. Took, take your time, cut out the chicken. And I really didn't keep any of the rest I should have, but um, sometimes there's just so many scraps, you just can't keep it all. And then I'm just going to put Mod Podge on the plate and on the back of the chicken and then over the front. Make sure it stays really nice. When I got this chicken laid down, I had laid it a little high on the plate. It's not quite circular. I didn't want to pull it up because I thought I would wreck the chicken image. And so I'm just taking and making a little grass like... Um, it's got a little bedding in there and all those are those little pieces from the burlap that I had pulled out from the other project and then use a nice amount of Mod Podge so that stays and doesn't come off. I did not have any burgundy on hand so I'm going to make some and it's four parts red one part blue and a small amount of black. Uh, so red and blue make purple, so it's going to be a reddish type purple, and then you want to put the black in there to kind of darken it. I wanted mine a little more reddish to match, you know, the parts of the chicken, and so I actually went with more of a six to one to about an eighth. And you don't need a lot of black. So mix that up nice and then I just used a little makeup sponge. I get these packets of them at Dollar Tree. You get a bunch of them for a dollar and then they're, you know, you can just throw them away. And actually you can use, use them twice because you can wash them of course, or you can just trim off that one edge that you used and I like to, to use the part that my hand is holding on to. I did go around with some jute string and I didn't show that part on here, but uh, there it is. Cute little decor piece. It sure looks better than that icky looking quiche plate. And with this, it's heavy enough. You'd probably want to put it with a uh, holder like you'd have a hold like a um, pitcher. This is the second DIY. And I'm just applying some of the mineral Waverly chalk paint and allow that to dry and I'm getting out the school glue because I want to make a crackle look this is how you do it without crackle the crackle decor paint so once you've gotten that dry you want to put your school glue on pretty thick before it dries put on your next layer and this is the cashew color and then you need a hot uh, heat gun and so you'll dry it it's going to dry the paint on the outside you know that outer edge and then it'll start to crack and it's going to dry your glue underneath and that's where you're going to get your crackle effect it takes a little while because that glue is thicker I wanted to put something on the front of it and so I got out my little paper pack farmhouse papers I offer these on Etsy they are not there's not very many left and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get any more um, so if you've been thinking about getting them 
through me anyway, I won't be able to get more, but they're probably available in other places. So this is one of the papers I've used from our little paper pack. So if you go to my Etsy and it's, there's nothing listed, they're gone. And I'm going to use those cute little chickens and I'm going to uh, just go around it in a, you know, rip around it to give it a little bit of a, you know, the uh, farmhouse weathered look. Get your uh, Mod Podge out and apply that on the back and on the front liberally because it's a little thicker and so you're gonna need you know a little bit thicker amount to make it stick. Now after I had gotten this on, in hindsight, I probably would have used some, um, put some of the, uh, a fabric or something behind it and then put it on just because those yellows don't quite work but it were it, it does it did turn out pretty cute so that was another fun trash to treasure i had thank you my friends for coming along and watching i hope you enjoyed it it was sure fun to make these thank you and we'll talk to you again soon bye bye friends